Hey, good morning, Chris here. Hopefully my videos are inspiring with your own do-it-yourself projects. So check this out. These are clear storage bins I picked up at Walmart for about three bucks each and they fit perfectly over these ammo cans. These ammo cans already have a top lid weather seal on there, but I just wanted a little bit more protection from the rain. I love these switches. These are the ones I got off of eBay from the 12 volt technology store. They're about eight bucks each and they are just awesome, awesome, awesome. I'm just pushing some of the buttons here and showing you how the while they work. This is the left, on the left here, this is the battery and outlets, kind of like a little portable battery box type thing. And right here is that plate I put on there. So I picked up another one at Lowe's and spray painted it camo. And I'll install that pretty soon. One quick thing is I also got another jumper cable. This is a four foot one and re I replaced the fuses. It came with, it was really weird, it came with 250 volt fuses rated at 10 amps. So while I was at Walmart, I picked up some, <laughs> no kidding, automotive fuses. I think they were 30 amp at 32 volts. And there's a solar panel that's facing west. And all I did is parallel them in. And that really works out good too. So I've got a 100 watt solar panel sitting out there and a 50 watt 12 volt panel paralleled in. And just a little extra power there. Yeah, it's working out good. <laughs> Here I am just closing it all up. Here's a little touch lamp that I got there too. It's magnetic base, so steel ammo can just put it on there. No problem. Yeah, the whole purpose of this video is just to show you you know, one way to do these little micro solar generators. And uh, I get a big kick out of, you know, showing others what I do here. And hopefully it inspires you too and with your own creation. So, hey, thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time. Later.